Hello everyone. In this particular, in this video, what we are going to discuss about is, uh, in last video we have uh, seen how to retrieve the data uh, from the table using entity queries or native queries and the uh, named queries. Okay. So now what we are going to do is, I have a table. I'll pass some information. So for example, I'll pass the student information. So based on the input, I have to retrieve the relevant entities. Okay, so for example, here we have a different kind of uh, st uh, students. So if I'll uh, pass input as my Stevenson, this particular record has to be written in the response. Okay, so let's create a method. Let's go to um, your interface and write a method public students find student and input parameters nothing but name okay so let's go let's go ahead and uh, implement the method okay so uh, let's write a query okay so we need to write query is equal to q r y and am dot create query and here you need to provide your query okay okay i'm going to write the query here uh, let's write it in a, our SQL so student select star from students where surname equaled man so let's run this so when I run my program it will return only this particular record alone okay so let's implement that let's copy the query I don't want to copy the input information because it is coming from the client paste and what you can simply do is okay you can directly pass the information here like uh, something like this okay you can pass the data like this but this is not a preferable way because when for example when think about this scenario I have a name which contains apostrophe okay so that kind of scenario we will end up with an issue and also if you are passing this information like this we are getting there is a possibility we can get the SQL exceptions or SQL injections injection issues okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to pass anything here so I'm going to pass I'm going to pass a reference here name okay and later I will set value for the parameter so my reference is name in this name taking the data from this particular variable okay so let's run this program okay mm. query dot get result list as I mentioned in the last video try to avoid use get single result because in the same name we might have multiple students okay so I'm returning as a list a list of students okay and uh, list equal what is happening okay query dot get result list okay so I'm just checking if list dot size is greater than zero, then return list dot get of zero. That means a single one, or else return null. Okay. So looks right. So uh, uh, I don't find any issue here. Okay let's deploy this right click and deploy into your server easy jar creator okay deployment is finished let's go ahead and create a client to call this method okay so let's comment out the previous stuff relax and put it here okay I'm going to call the student student EJP dot find student and the name which I'm going to pass it man the one which we tried in 
how net inquiry okay so it will return as list it will return a student okay or simply i can put it as a sop it will return a student okay let's let's run this run okay so what is happening here just expand it and see what is the error illegal argument exception exception occurred while creating the query in the entity manager it is saying select star from student where student okay that's my bad that's my bad okay here is a scenario see i have used to create query but i'm using sql query that is wrong okay you need to use the entity queries so this is a query and where o dot and you need to find the appropriate object reference okay go to students and see what is uh, supported our surname here okay this is my surname o dot surname so o dot surname equal to and pass the name I think looks good. Select star from student O, where O dot surname is equal to name. Okay, let's deploy again because since I made a change. Okay, what is going on? Deploying. Okay, deployment finished. Let's run the client. Run. See, I got the details. Thomas Mann. Okay, this is the way you need to use the query to pass the information okay in the next video i'm going to show you how you are going to communicate with the multiple tables i'm going to write a join query to uh, connect to uh, all the three tables okay uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and do subscribe my channel thank you